Hello, everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're going to talk briefly about several different coats of arms in the Russell family. We're going to go through a handful in detail. And then at the end, we're going to do a lightning round of a few with uh, some less detail provided. The first is blazoned, argent, a chevron sable between three crosses, crosslet, fitchy, azure, a border and grail, gules, charged alternately with Byzance and Escalops or crest, a demi lion, rampant ermine, charged with a fasces proper and bearing in his dexter paw a cross crosslet fitchy sable. This was the coat of arms of the Russell Baronets of Swallowfield. The Russell Baronetcy of Swallowfield in the county of Berkshire was created in the baronetage of the United Kingdom on December 10, 1812 for Sir Henry Russell. He was born in Dover in 1751, the son of Michael Russell and Hannah Henshaw. He was a British lawyer who made the Privy Council in 1816 and was the Chief Justice of Bengal. He married Anna Barbara Whitworth and had six sons and five daughters with her. He was succeeded in the baronetcy by his son, also named Henry, and we have the sixth baronet, Sir Arthur Russell, was one of the greatest British mineral collectors of the 20th century. The family was seated at Swallowfield Park in Berkshire, England, which was erected in 1689 and was purchased by Sir Henry Russell in 1820. Next we have Argent, a lion rampant gules on a chief sable, three roses of the first. Crest, a goat argent attired or murally gorged gold. This was the coat of arms of the Russell Baronets of Chippenham. The Russell Baronetcy of Chippenham in the county of Cambridge was created in the Baronetage of England on January 19, 1629, for William Russell. He was born sometime before 1585, the son of William Russell of Surrey and Joan Sanders. He was a member of parliament for New Windsor and was treasurer of the, of the Navy. He married three times and had nine sons and three daughters. The family was seated at Chippenham Park which was acquired by the family around the year 1600. The third coat of arms is blazoned, Argent, a chevron between three goodies, reverse sable, the whole within a border, Garoni of eight and eight divisions or, and of the second, crest, a fountain. This was the coat of arms of the Russell Baronets of Chippenham Park. The Russell Baronetcy of, I'm sorry, not Chippenham Park, of Charlton Park, of Charlton Park in the county of Gloucester, and it was created in the baronetage of the United Kingdom on April 9th, 1832, for William Russell, a Scottish physician born in Edinburgh, in 1733, the son of John Russell. He was awarded the baronetcy for the medical services he rendered during the cholera epidemic. His son, the second baronet, also named William, was a lieutenant governor who served in the Crimean War and was a member of parliament for Dover and Norwich. And here we see a picture of him with his second wife, Jane Eliza Sherwood. 
Next, we have Argent, a lion rampant gules on a chief, three escalops of the first, a crescent for difference. Crest, a goat statin, Argent armed or. Supporters, Dexter, a lion sinister, an antelope, both gules, and supporting an anchor sable. This was the coat of arms of Admiral Edward Russell, first Earl of Orford. He was born in 1653, the son of Honorable Edward Russell and the grandson of the Earl of Bedford. He was a Royal Navy officer who served at the Battle of Sol Bay during the Third Anglo-Dutch War and served as a captain in operations against Barbary pirates in the Mediterranean. Russell was one of the Immortal Seven, a group of English noblemen who issued the invitation to William, a document asking Prince William of Orange to depose King James II. Based in the Netherlands, he served as Prince William's secretary during the planning of William's invasion of England. He also served as a member of Parliament for Cambridgeshire. He was created Earl of Orford on May 7, 1697. Next we have Argent, a lion rampant gules on a chief sable, three escalops of the first. Crest, a goat passant Argent armed or. Supporters, Dexter, a lion, Sinister, an antelope, both gules, and the latter ducally gorged and lined or armed and hoofed gold. This was the coat of arms of the Dukes of Bedford. William Russell was an English politician who sat in the House of Commons. He was born in 1616, the son of Francis Russell, the fourth Earl of Bedford. He was invested as a privy councillor on February 14, 1689, and created Duke of Bedford and Marquess of Tavistock in 1694. He was created Baron Howland of Streetham in 1695, with remainder to his grandson, Rithesley Russell. He married Anne Carr and had who was the daughter of the Earl of Somerset and had 11 children with her. Next we have Argent, a lion rampant gules. This was the coat of arms of the Baron of Killo and County Down, who descended from Russell of Kingston Russell and County Dorset, a cadet of which accompanied Sir John de Courcy to Ireland during the reign of King Henry II, which was from 1154 to 1189 AD, and assisted him in the conquest of Ulster, from which they received a grant of the lordships of Killo and Rathmullen. The family descends from Thomas Russell, born around the year 1280 AD, father of Jacob Russell. Next, we have the coat of arms of Elias Russell, which is blazing gules on a fess ermine between three swans argent as many mullets sable. He was the Lord Mayor of London in 1299 and 1300, and he also was a draper. Next, we have the coat of arms of John Russell, the Bishop of Rochester and the Bishop of Lincoln during the 15th century, blazoned azure two chevronels or between three roses argents. And lastly, we have the coat of arms of Colonel Theodore Russell, governor and mayor of Galway, granted in 1685, blazoned per chevron, embattled or and gules, three crosses, crosslet, fitchy, counterchanged. Crest, on a laurel branch, a raven, all 
prop. If you enjoyed this video, please visit coadb.com and click on the link up top that says Genealogy Research. As you learned in this video, one surname can have tons of different coats of arms associated with it. So don't just pick any old coats of arm that has your surname on it. We piece together your family tree to determine which, if any coat of arms, belonged to your ancestors. Thank you.